Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson, chairman of the airport board, pointed out at today's board meeting that the difference between two wage scales may mean the difference between a $22 million tax away on runway contracts for the airport and a contract costing up to $35 million. Construction workers are asking that the higher wages paid for building construction be granted. Construction Council Secretary Dave Keeler explains their position. Well, we feel like that the runways and the complex is going to be inside this fence is all one huge uh, building project. Uh, therefore, if one of them wasn't there, the other one wouldn't be there. Therefore, the wages should apply on the whole thing. Is there any law to determine which wage rate should be applied in a case like there this? There is. Uh, the Labor Department decides which rate should be prevailing. We feel like the Labor Department has not followed the law in predetermining the rates which have been issued. But contractors are asking that the lower wage scale applied to highway construction be granted. Frank Harrell of Associated General Contractors tells why. That is the prevailing rate for that type of work or construction in this area at the present time. It is the same as highway construction and other utility construction, pipe preparation, grading, and drainage in this area. The labor maintains that runway preparation and site preparation is part of the building as such, and because of that, they should have the building rate. That's just about the same thing as stating that the highway leading in the city of Dallas is part of the city hall. The federal government has called a hearing January 30th in Dallas to hear the two cases. If they decide in favor of the higher scale, it could cost some 20% more to build the airport runways. The contract for that construction should be let about March 1st. Also at today's board meeting, Mayor Johnson said the board should be ready to name a manager for the airport in about two months. He says applicants for the position will be interviewed either this week or next week. Phil Reynolds reporting for Channel 8 News. We beat the all-service team in the opening round. In the second round, we uh, defeated Northwestern from the Big Ten, which many people considered an upset. Uh, we didn't think so, however. But we did play very well against Northwestern, and then we met uh, Houston in the finals, and as you stated, they are ranked the number two team in the country. And we went right down to the wire with them before losing 45-43, to 43, and our boys did an excellent job. They, uh, we just can't say enough about their play. They did tremendous. They carried out our game plans as successfully as any I've ever seen. And... Uh, it was one of those things we made a couple mistakes in the last minutes that cost us the victory, but uh, it was the first time that Houston had been pressed this year to the wire, so we were real proud with them, and we hope that we'll continue to play that way. What has happened in the area of venereal disease is that now so many of the patients with venereal disease can go to the offices of private physicians because the treatment is available and easily available. Consequently, a good number of patients are seen and treated by the private physicians and unfortunately, uh, most of these escape reporting by the physicians. If you case it can be treated by private physicians, why is it necessary that the cases be reported to public health officials? The importance of reporting is that for every case of, of actual disease, there are several cases of contacts, and these contacts have to be found, defined, and tested and treated in order to solve the problem. Otherwise, if this is not done, then it looks like it it's an iceberg where only a small portion of it is above the surface and the remainder, the big portion, would be hidden under the surface.
are people now apathetic about the problem? Yes, we feel that there is certain apathy in the, in the problem. Uh, otherwise, we would have solved it years, years ago. Uh, there is definite need for quick diagnosis and quick treatment. A public health problem that the public seems to have grown apathetic about was the subject of a special committee meeting of the Community Council of Greater Dallas today. The topic was venereal disease, which is being described across the state as an epidemic proportions. The committee's purpose was to tackle the problem here in Dallas County. A member of the committee is Dr. Hal Dulett, City Health Director. He says that the problem in Dallas is just about the same as across the state. I would emphasize the epidemiologic process and tracing the contacts of these cases. The committee is launching an extensive VD education campaign for the month of February. This is to coincide with a similar campaign in Tarrant County. VD happens to nice people too, says the committee. Teal Salon, reporting.